welcome to the advent of code uh, we are going to solve current task day two of 2022 all twos almost uh, hi you dude uh, i'm also streaming this um let's let's get to it i guess let's read the task rock paper scissors okay blah 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 okay uh, we know what rock paper scissors is appreciate if you help one elf gives you an encrypted strategy guide your puzzle input that they say will be sure to help you win the first column is that what the opponent is going to play a for rock b for paper c for scissors uh, the second column suddenly the elf is called away to help someone stand the second column your reason must be what you should play in response x for rock y for paper and z for scissors Winning every time would be suspicious, so the response must have been carefully chosen. Basically, we should try probably six different combinations for X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Why not? So we know what X, Y, and Z is. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's uh, past it here, right? Let's also get puzzle input. It's not Spanish. I can show you. Okay, okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to parse it. Um, how do we parse it? So parse is basically um, re seek re is basically w right no it didn't work for some reason why hmm. Oh, because we already parsed it. Oh, okay, so yeah, okay, so yeah, this works, and we probably need partition to to go to it. partition to okay, okay, so a y, yeah, basically. Uh, this is our parse, and basically, what we need is to calculate score, and score is what. Well, we probably need a function called um, Well, I don't know if we need this A, Y, B, Z So let's Let's do This So A, B, C X, Y, Z. So basically, what I want is keywords in the place. So rock, paper, scissors, right? So it's rock, paper, scissors, and X, rock, Y, paper, and the same goes here. I guess in the second problem we are going to have something different, which is um, okay, of course. Rock paper, rock paper, rock, scissors, scissors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Now we need a function called beats. Oh. 
I need probably a function called score, right? Let's call it left and right. Um, so basically, basically, it's a sum, right? Uh, what you selected one for rock, two for paper, three for scissors. So it's a plus. Uh, we are right. So basically, uh, we need a map called rock one, paper two, scissors three. Apply it to our input, and then we we want uh, like if l equals r, we get getting three score right um scores that come zero if you lost three if the round was draw six if you won okay so um the so three combinations when we lose and three combinations when we win right or wait for one left we have one win yeah it's three so basically um rock what's like paper beats rock right paper beats rock so it's gonna be six same for scissors and same for rock beating scissors L0. So this is our score function and basically our solution to it is gonna be um, reduce plus well we need to take data uh, probably map it with score okay let me see Well, we can change score to take uh, sequence. All right, um, map score and reduce plus zero, like this. Uh, this gives us fifteen, which seems to be correct, and this is gives us fourteen five three one. And that's the right answer. Yay! I guess we we should now try different stuff and sneaks back to you anyway the second column says how the round needs to end x means you need to lose y means you need to end the round and draw that means you need to win good luck mm -hmm. okay yeah that's possible I have difficult, difficult uh, chat, chat questions. I have difficulties writing functions composition in Core. I've decided not using uh, thread last until I can parse classic composition in my head, map count, parse string, am I stupid? Um, no, actually not. Uh, uh, but all I can say, it just takes some um, habit uh you just get used to it and then you you can do it uh, both thread last which is this and thread first uh, like somewhat intuitive uh somewhat <laughs> somewhat to some extent and you start to see patterns like some functions like some groups of functions take argument as first so you tend to use them together, others like work with sequences, they tend to take argument last, so you tend to work with them. Uh, so yeah, and eventually you also learn, like for example, if I have a map, say A, B, C, 1, right, and I want to increment C, well, I couldn't uh, update in map A, b c ink like this right but you also learn to write stuff like update m a update 
b update c ink. Let me check that I am not crazy. Yeah, it works as well. So basically what this means, this is super tricky to uh, like to parse, even I can parse this uh, on the fly, but I just learned that this pattern works. So you can also add like swap in here, like if it was uh, atom like this, right? It also works. Uh, this is just, but this is, uh, this is composition, right? So like basically swap, take this, put star M in here, then update takes the rest and puts uh, the value here. And yeah, it's it's like, if you think about it, how it works, it's super crazy, uh, but you just get used to it. Uh, the only thing that I am having difficulties still, it's the comp function when you like put mul multiple functions like uh ink deck ink i don't know like this doesn't work for me because like i can never remember which which is called first but this is uh, very simple because it's sequential right uh, the computation happens as you go down so that makes it easy for me at least why youtube and not twitch uh yeah i wanted to do twitch but it doesn't let me to log in uh, I, I set up to factor authentication and uh, it sends me SMS, uh, but then doesn't it doesn't work. So sequence fa funds take the sec last, map functions take map first. Yeah, 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 basically like that. Uh, also swap updates, they take argument first. Um, yeah. Sometimes you also learn, like uh, at some point you probably will learn like uh, a <laughs> feature like this when uh, in the middle of uh, thread first you need a function that takes thread last. You do this and other useful um, uh, use, useful things that I noticed in Closure if a function call is called to reseek right so it will probably take regexp first but if it's string function like it's the replace it will probably take string first so you see this, this here string is last but uh, here string is first uh, and uh, regexp goes here so because it's like it's, this is string so it operates on string so like strings goes first this is starts from regex so or like the name starts with regex so it's operates on regex but uh, even now and then like ends for example i still struggle with it and i always take a look where collection goes because ends like is kind of unusual in the sense that it's a collection function but it takes collection first so like it always confuses me yeah weird okay but anyways let's uh, see so Obviously, we uh, okay. Um, yeah, no, um, we can't do this. Uh, let's replace. So we remove this. Right. Um, this uh well actually we do you know what we do uh score is okay uh we actually want to do map uh function that takes lr and returns a vector like this all right Let's see that we still get this answer. So like, yeah, we don't want to contaminate basically the original data because, oh, Dmitry, hi. Uh, because, yeah, we, we, we're gonna need interpret, we, we, we're gonna need 
to interpret it differently in the second part. So basically X means lose, Y means draw, and Z, Z means win. Like that. Um, right, so now we basically need score tool function, which will do something else, but uh, case R, so basically, uh, wait, um, yeah, 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 if it's a win, uh, we want score of like else tell stays L, right? We, we, we want to know what R will be. And basically based on L, uh, we are gonna do rock paper L, right? Wait, uh, yeah, kind of like this, uh, rock paper, um, paper scissors, and scissors rock. Okay, so this is a winning strategy, right? Uh, draw is simple, uh, it's just uh, score LL, and lose is basically the same ish, but with uh, inverse of this. So if uh, rock we want scissors, if paper we want rock, and if scissors we want paper, right? And we don't need this part of the stuff. Okay, let's go, let's see, 12 seems to be right. Boom! Yay! Be right. I came to say hi as per Twitter instructions. Hey Jan, nice to see you. Welcome. Just solve it. Uh, let's see the pretty pictures that we get. Yeah, pictures not, <laughs> not that pretty uh, yet, but it will probably be better. Okay, let's see my private leaderboard where I'm stand. Where do I stand? Okay, it's I'm at place thirty nine because. Yeah, I'm probably one of the last who is solving these tasks late in the day. Even like these people who didn't solve part two are better than me. But at, at least I'm consistent, right? Uh, like, yeah, I'm going to take it in consistency. Okay, uh, that was fun. Uh, let me stop the recording. Oh, but, no, let's commit it first. Yeah, it's, it's, it's our tradition. We, we want to commit everything. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, year 2022, day two. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, and now there's time to do something else. Let me stop the recording.